I'm a nature nut, I'm not afraid to admit I'm wild about the wild things and I'm proud of it I'm just a simple case, open and shut No doubt about it, I'm a nature nut Today we'll go bird watching, tomorrow we'll catch toads The next day we'll take photographs of bugs along the road I never get the feeling that I'm in a rut that's why I'm a nature nut Well, I'm a nature nut I'm not afraid to admit I'm wild about the wild things And I'm proud of it I'm just a simple case Open and shut No doubt about it I'm a nature nut Sharks might bite your feet Ooh, spit into the lens Put on your ducky fins Bite down on the mouthpiece And breathe normally If you start to leak Don't panic, choke or freak And if you go down under You might find it's a blunder <laughs> Float 
floating over reef and rock, soaring like a red-tailed hawk, looking down on fish and critters, taking underwater pictures, naming fish is not too hard, with this handy dandy plastic card, anyone can do it so, don't tell me I'm no Jacques Cousteau. <laughs> Knife and forkle, gas and diesel, snorkel, weasel, ha ha ha! Fork and sparkle, fork and sparkle, and fork and corkle, fork and sparkle, 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 He lived in the glades where he turned different shades From green to brown and brown to green He was a green and old and very droll He loved to lie in the sun On a leafy leaf he'd be the chief From the morning till the day is done That old and old he took a stroll Through the land of the gator and the salmon old. And while he made his glade patrol He'd listen to the sound of the ori when he's green or tan, he's quite a man. Oh, look, he's scarlet, do that thing. He'll spar with the guys despite his size and watches out for predators if he's wise. That old and old, he ain't no mole. You'll never see him down in a hole. Bright sunshine makes him feel real fine in the winter, spring, or summer time. Take a good old look at the old and old. In the side of his head, he has a tiny hole. Oh, dear, who stole? Did he ever get to hear a bit of rock and roll? An old land knoll was running up the pole, and a merry old soul was he. He lived in the glades where he turned different shades from green to brown and brown to green. Oh, he's brown. And then to green. I think he's turning brown. And back to green. Is he, is he green? And then to brown. <laughs> Florida. I like the word flood. Like Florida orange juice. Here's a story about flood. I moved down to Florida five years back. Bought me some swamp wood up a rundown shack. I was warned by the drugstore geezer Don't go out at night and beware the creature. June in the black lagoon, warm and dark in the soggy swamp. One day my corgi disappeared. He's been gone for about three years. Went out to play in the driving rain. One last bark. Never saw him again. Typhoon in the black lagoon. I lost my dog in the flood of fall. Well, then my chickens, one by one, were plucked from the hen house to oblivion. The drugstore geezer just shook his head. A critter from the swamp. That's all he said. I saw it in the water, the eerie wake. Was not a gator or a cottonmouth snake. I thought it was the creature. I let out a whale, but it had a black eye mask and little rings around its tail. It was the coon. Black lagoon, a ring-tailed thing from the Florida Springs. That coon was not the culprit, cause Fluffy he came back. There were feathers in his teeth and his fur was muddy black. I knew there was no creature, I knew we'd be alright. Cause now I knew what made those noises in the swamp at night. It was the coon from the black 
that lagoon A ringtail thing from the Florida Spring a Raccoon from the Black Lagoon A ringtail thing from the Florida Spring a Raccoon Bygone day, he looked into his beetle cage and he swore he heard them say, Yeah, it's a pile of poop, but it's my pile of poop. 
And I'm making it a better pile of poop so that this world will be a better place to live. For you, yeah. for me, for everyone. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah. the prairie and hide them in the ground roll them in the summertime but never spring or fall roll them till them cow pies are buried one and all yeah roll them in the summertime but never the spring or fall roll them till them cow pies are buried one and all It was 1999 at the end of the holiday. Little did we know on our way home that we would go astray. We took a turn, we shook right up, and we headed for the stars. In the cockpit sat the pilot, a man from the planet Mars. So we found ourselves on a strange new world with open fields and snow. In the cold and ice, no paradise, we dig out our winter clothes. They told us why they brought us here, oh weird and so perverse, to make Mars into a better place. They import vacationers. Now we are an introduced species, we invade new habitat. It's not our fault, we like it here, we are just like doves or cats. We were hungry back in the early days, so we ate what food we'd brought. Then Annette said, Boys, these Martian trees taste just like apricots. With food enough for all of us, we decided we would stay. So we sat all down and we raised our kids in the brand new Martian day. Then one day we met the native folk, they were all so slow and daft. So we got the real rude and we stole their food and we stood around and laughed. It was good, we thought we were Martians, now don't you know things have to change. We forgot our jobs and our former lives till the earth seemed old and strange. Then the men from Mars looked out their door with horror did behold. There were tourists almost everywhere, spread out of control. So they tried to eradicate us, but the damage had been done. Not forevermore, there were tourists here, with the rose-red Martian sun. Now we are an introduced species, we invade new habitat. It's not our fault, we like it here, we are just like doves or cats. It's not our fault, we like it here, we are just like dogs or cats. Peregrine, you're back again to terrorize. Our country skies, peregrination across the nation, breaking free from DDT. Oh, once upon a time you were the duck hawk, a bird renowned for beauty and for speed. Around the world on ledges, cliffs, and flat rocks, the choice of kings of old in falconry. Peregrine, you're back, back again to terrorize our country, country skies. Peregrination across the nation, breaking free from DDT. Oh, the 60s were a time of social unrest. A 
Nicky Tragic Decade for the bird. Pest is high at the exit. Still around the world, the warning could be heard. Then these birds are in trouble. up the last wild flying falcons and they settled them in cages for to breed they waited for the news of fewer toxins and waved their wings to thank the conservation agency and and man, you're back again to terrorize our country sky Every nation across the nation breaking free from DDT. There is no other explanation. Breaking free. Snails are so weird in shells, they dwell, they dig, they climb. <laughs> on their belly a foot, they glide, they ride on slime. Yeah. They're moving slow, where do they go? Smoothly they flow most of the time. What's the mystery with the mystery snail? It ain't no mystery at all oh, What's the mystery with the mystery snail? They lay their eggs up on the wall so oh, What's the mystery with the mystery snail? Don't trust that look there in their eye oh. Look through the glass and watch the mystery snail Don't let the mystery pass you by Big slugs, they hug the ground around out in the rain. Banana slug, the forest floor is your domain. You know it. <laughs> You're so ugly, hey, can't you see? You're driving me insane. changing. <laughs> How are you? Hey, how's that steak anyway? Looks good. Slugs in the garden in the vegetable patch. Oh, slugs out in the forest in the wild. They eat whatever they can hunt down and catch. A tasty leaf's what makes them smile. I got it. Whoever thought that a banana slug would look exactly like its name? A piece of fruit could sprout some tentacles and look an awful lot the same. A banana! Radula face, a mollusk, a shell, well, it's a snake. A lung unsung down there, no hair, don't hug a slug. They are so odd, onward they plod, the gastropod, the snail. Ladies and gentlemen, the snail. Thank you. I looked out the window one fine fall day, turned to myself and I said, well, hey, I think I'll try something new and become a bird watcher. So I went to the store and I bought some glass binoculars, you know, real high class, a book of CD and a whole bunch of nerdy looking clothes. I was all rigged up and ready to go, but I wasn't going to start with the common ones, you know. I figured let's call the hotline and go see the rarest bird in town. 
It was the three toe dock in the Rufus phase. Been hanging around for at least two days, so I headed on out to the address to gave on the phone. Bird, watch you, you're a high tech guy. You look just like a nasty spy. I stopped on the way just to try it out By the side of the road I stopped the car About the same time a patrol car was around in the bend Well, she hit the brakes and she searched my car Found an unpaid ticket on the floor somewhere Let me go with a warning and the evil eye So I headed her down to the rare bird place Tried to be discreet, didn't show my face Found myself staring right into the window on the second floor well, I was no rare bird, no sir, instead it was the lady of the house getting ready for bed. With a phone to her ear, she reported a peeping Tom, and I was gone. Bird, watch your high-tech guy, you look just like a nasty spy. Next day I tried from the other side, but the CIA and the FBI had been alerted to the possibility that I was an enemy agent. They were dressed to the nines in business suits. I told them, hey, I'm a birder, please don't shoot. They said, all right, Buster, why don't you prove it right here and now? Well, the big guy pointed to a red-breasted thing that was flapping on past up high on the wing, and I had no idea what it was, but I guess it was a robin. You're no bird watcher, it's plain to see, said the man in the suit with the gun to me, and that's how I wound up in the slammer for a week, and I'm never going to see that three-toed dog. Bird watcher, you high-tech guy, you look just like an SD spy. Well, I came in late last night. My baby gave me a great big hug. <laughs> well, I came in from a party late last night. My baby said, Welcome home, you great big lug. <laughs> But there was a cockroach in the bathroom and I knew a house had been bugged. Well, I woke up the next morning and I said, Honey, won't you pour me some cereal flakes? <laughs> I woke up refreshed the next morning and I said, Honey, won't you pour me some cereal flakes? Just a little bitty bowl of flakes. But there was flower beetles swimming in the milk, my friend. Oh, I had a sudden tummy ache. <laughs> Look out. You know, my house is bugged. Cabin beetles in the rug. Silver fish in the dishes. Don't leave that bathroom rain of blood. Down to the basement Just trying to find some solitude Oh, I went down into the basement Way down in altitude <laughs> The place was crawling with the creepies And I know the basement was bugged too Oh no, look out, have mercy, good grief I lay down on the Chesterfield and I stared up at the light. <laughs> oh, yes, I lay down on the sofa or the couch or whatever you want to call it. And I stared up at the dried moth in the fixture of the light. I figured these bugs ain't really going to hurt me. <laughs> so everything is going to be all right. Oh, that's a relief. <laughs> so I crawled into the bathtub and I poured myself a bath. In all those luxurious bubbles, I could now unwind at last. And then at once I saw it. It's the biggest I ever seen. It crawled out of my slippers and said, Pass me a magazine. My house is bugged. <laughs> Carpet beetles in the rug. A silver fish is in the dishes. Oh, don't leave that bathroom drain unplugged. No, put the drain Ow! If I had 
to be any kind of critter, I'd be a little dragonfly. Red on top with a racing stripe and a sparkle in my compound eye. And if I had to live in any kind of place, I'd live by a beaver pond. Lie around the rushes and the willowy shrub, then off to the hill beyond. Dragonfly in the sky. Flip to the left and flip to the right. Put it in reverse and then you're upside ways. You go over here and you zag over there and you go like your dinner in the middle of the air. Flapping like crazy, fly around fast, make myself dizzy in the brains. Up in the sky, down among the grass, and over from bed around the trees. Chasing after anything smaller than me, especially wasps and bees. Swallow them just like that If only they had been one kind of season I'd pick summer for sure Enjoying the less green scenery And the agreeable temperature Thank you. 
sweeping o'er the grasslands that grew high as white butt chest. never vomit on their food. They may spit or drool or puke on their food, but technically they never vomit on their food. Like other insects, flies only have two pairs of wings. The other pair is kept in a huge underground storage vault in the country of Paraguay in case something happens to the first pair. Did you ever see a blue bottle fly soaring out across the sky? Others who are horned, 
No two with the same feathers should be tied. Some of us are long-eared, some of us are short-eared, some of us are great and some are gray. Some of us are boreal, others are fossorial. That's the burrowing owl. And some of us are flammulated. Hey! <laughs> I'm a flammulated owl in a flammulated world. My heart is flammulating for my flammulacious girl. I flammulate from dusk till dawn and then I hide from sight. Until I start to flammulate into the dark of night. Until he starts to flammulate into the dark of night. Until he starts to flammulate into the dark of night. Who cooks for you? Who cooks for you? In a ferruginous pygmy world, my heart is ferruginating for my ferruginous pygmy girl. I ferruginate from dusk till dawn and then I hide from sight until I start to ferruge again into the dark of night. Till I start to ferruge again into the dark of night. Until I start to ferruge again into the dark of night. Who cooks for you? Who cooks for you? You who cooks for you? I'm a rufous banded owl in an ochre-bellied world. My heart is all straighted for my crested scopsy girl. I vermiculate from dust till dawn and then I hide from sight. Until I start to tangle my arm into the dark of night. When I was just a lad, I painted pictures for my mum and dad. They hung them on the fridge, on the wall, down the hall. My pal George and I would draw the animals we saw in nature books and programs on TV. Pictures, pictures on the wall, so many I can't count them all. Slugs and bugs and frogs and bats, nature nuts with goofy hats. Salmon pink and azure blue, the critters and the bugs you drew are telling me to keep on making pictures on the wall. I tried to draw the other day, but the gift had slipped away. The pencil crayons felt so odd in my hand like grains of sand. Oh, how I'd love to have it back. Recapturing the knack so I could draw my favorite animals again. Pictures, pictures on the wall, so many I can't count them all. Slugs and bugs and frogs and bats, nature nuts with goofy hats. Salmon pink and azure blue, the critters and the bugs you drew are telling me to keep on making pictures on the wall. Now look at all the art you sent me, it's an inspiration, plenty drawings drawn for no more reason than the joy and for the fun. When my son grows old enough, I'll tell him drawing ain't kid stuff, keep on drawing till your days are done. Pictures, pictures on the wall, so many I can't count them all. Slugs and bugs and frogs and bats, nature nuts with goofy hats. Salmon pink and azure blue, the critters and the bugs you drew are telling me to keep on making pictures on the wall.
Hi there, I'm John Acorn with some great news for all you other nature nuts out there. We've got some brand new stuff including items for young nature nuts. Our new sweatshirts come in adult and youth sizes. They're heavyweight cotton available in natural gray or forest green. We still have ball caps for those windy days and t-shirts for when you need a change of clothes. Check out our Nature Nut CDs, two wacky albums, 29 tunes, and we've got a great new video compilation of our favorite songs. Well, the year was 1999 at the end of the holiday. Big slugs, they hug the ground around, out in the rain. Dragonfly! Hey! Great gift ideas to order, call our new toll-free number 1-877-77-ACORN or visit our website, Checks, Visa and MasterCard. Welcome!